Hey everybody, it's Rob from Foil Juice. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the level 2 jammer fin. On my half price uh, spin, I managed to get both levels of the thing, so I'm going to take it out and probably die a lot. It is at level 2 a 550 support. It has a lot of beams, it has some missiles besides, and it has, it has a high mega cannon which pierces both uh, charged and uncharged. Okay, not bad. And not bad on that either. Okay. And beams. Nope. It also has a really good downswing, and it has force injectors and balancers besides, so... Let's see. I just got tagged by something. Unsurprising. Probably the other jammer fin over there. Um, okay, it can use its high mega... It can charge its high mega cannon while moving. I'm already digging this as a sport. It does kind of have to stop to shoot, but... That's not unexpected with something like that. Um, well, let's see. Okay, separate high mega uh, cannon for transformation mode. That's good. Tagged it, and there's missiles, which I didn't really have time to, uh, uh didn't have time to uh, aim, but that's okay. And, yeah, it just, god, transform, it just, it just pulls up its legs. Nothing, nothing really major. Hit the roof. Dang. Let's see. If there is piercing, that means I can fire right through my team if I need to. But... Okay, got somebody. That's nice. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay, and the combo ability of that other one and support fire, which means I'm flying away now. Okay, can't use the arm beams at all in mobile armor mode. That's good to know. Decent damage against a, uh... Okay, and the missiles all just fire at once yeah, when you're flying, it would seem. Okay, yeah, this is not bad. They're gonna get the, uh, kill on our base, but... And they're also probably gonna get, uh, support fire on me. Or just regular fire, but definitely fire. Yep, they got, they got the base. I'm surrounded. I think I need to worry about uncharged things. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's a power attack. I am very going to die. It's a... It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, brain is gone. I'm sorry. Uh, I put some extra melee defense on it, but that doesn't really mean a lot to power attacks. That's the sentence that was trying to escape my brain. Thank you. Okay, and gonna spawn back in. I think I'm gonna spawn back in back here. Just so I have a little bit of room to uh, maneuver and position before I get close to those guys. Also, a little bit of space to play hide and seek while I charge this gigantic gun. Oh, here comes another jammer fin. Or is that a gazome? I think it's a gazome. It's a gazome, and I am so sorry. Beams for you. Not bad. Okay, 3124 from its hand weapon. There we go. Yeah, that's a great combo. Yeah, so I, yeah, I just screwed that shot up just completely. That was, ah, I slipped. That's, my, my thumb slipped. Um, I think I mentioned before, family, uh, family, uh, trade of shaky hands. And yeah, just, <laughs> that's all. Okay, um... I still feel like a doofus, but that's all it was. Okay, I'm pretty sure I hit that gap in the arm shield, and that has buffers. And that was that 2300 from the charged, uh, high... It might not have been charged, fully charged either, now that I think about it. But... Okay. And I am so wide, I can't hide behind this building. So... But I am going to try and tag this gap if I can, because... I have seen pictures of the jammer fin's downswing, and it is ridiculous, so... Let's show off that downswing, please. Aw, oh, he, he knocked me out of it, but it still hit! Look at that! From that distance, it still hit. That is impressive. Run away. Yeah, you, you know you don't want any of this. You really do not. Oops, neither do I, unfortunately, but I'm getting some of it. Let's try this. Nope, let's die instead. That's a much better choice. Yeah, this this thing is ridiculous, but I kind of like it. Um, 
just it's uh it's it's fun so far. It's definitely it's going to have probably the same problems that most supports do because it is huge and it's slow. So you're gonna uh, to to get the most out of this, you're gonna have to be with a team that uh, actually supports you, but uh, or a map with a lot of space where you can uh, where you can engage at range like this one. You know that's something I think sometimes. Uh, you know, doesn't always get thought about. I've always uh, maintained that there are just some mobile suits that don't work on certain maps. And this is one... I would probably not take this into uh, Arctic Base, personally. Missiles for you. Ah, good. Beams. Beams. Oops, second beam didn't take. Time to back up. A lot. I want to say that uh, something this big probably needs uh, some kind of damage control skill, too, but I don't think it has it. Oops, I was a half second too late. Okay, that was the last missile. I, for I forgot to reload again. It's doing pretty good damage numbers to that uh, Rigazi, though. I can't really complain there. And the range on these weapons is good, too, so, you know, just... It's, uh, it's really, really strong, so that's probably what makes up for the fact that it is very slow and very big, so. It also, there is a little bit of a hesitation in firing that, so be careful. Um, let's see. We are behind with a minute and a half left, but I'm probably going to run this anyway because I'm just enjoying this. It is, it is great. Tagged it. I have missiles. Beams worth overheating. All my everything, however, is overheated, so now it's actually time to transform, so I have an attack. But I just got to fire once it out of the air, so. Not that I got, uh, not that I got to hit by a violent, but it's just, it's the violent problem. Big, easy to knock down, etc. Because I don't think it has most of the uh, pre-flight buffers that, uh, that general transformers do. Okay, let's see what kind of base damage this does since we have the time. Decent. Let me fly, though, because I have no energy, or no health, rather, and I would hate to find out that I was the center of attention there when we actually got the lead with that little time left. Yeah, I should just get myself in better position. Okay, now, let's see if I can uh, get a parting shot here. There's one. Didn't stun the Gaplin. Was hoping to demonstrate the piercing there in the last moments, but oh well. But yeah, we managed to win it, and I like this thing. I like it a lot. Good luck to everybody who wants to get it. It is a two-star, so higher chances, but larger pool. It kind of balances, so... And got top assist. That's not bad. Our... Uh, our Gaplet managed to get top score on a team that only had uh, one fin, or against a team that only had one fin, so that's not bad. Uh, four kills, two deaths, again, considering I was, you know, I, I was driving a uh, flying apartment building. Actually, this one's kind of more broad, so it's more of a flying shopping mall. I don't think that's bad, so that's going to do it for today's Gun and Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So yeah, I am I'm really kind of liking this thing. I'm going to I'm going to have to try and do more with it. Maybe I'll try and get a space round sometime soon.